Folks, uh, welcome to Tiger Tanker Studios. This is the first edition of True North Motos. This is going to be a series of videos that we are going to present to you about setting up bikes, working on bikes, and talking about how you can get more enjoyment out of riding, and uh, primarily working on KTM and Husky bikes. So uh, the president of True North Motos, Dan North, and his business partner, Cal, and I'm, of course, Tiger Tanker, and uh, just great to have you guys join us in what will be a, an exciting new part of my YouTube channel. Dan, tell us... Uh, True North Motors is something that I started because I've been working and building bikes for people for probably the last six years, um, besides my own personal bikes. Uh, and I just felt that the necessity for me to start a company to kind of release some products that I felt the market didn't have available. Um, you know, we're starting with kind of lighting kits to plate the bikes, you know, here in Washington, but also going to offer kits for state that have less restrictions like Colorado and Utah um, that are, you know, plug and play KTM OEM parts with just a couple adapters. So you're getting quality components, you know, for around the same price as, you know, other people sell, in my opinion, an inferior product. Um, there's also, you know, luggage rack systems and things that I've just learned from riding uh, over the years. You know, camping off the bike and going to Baja and doing things that just weren't available and just wanted to, uh, you know, make that leap into starting my own thing. But, uh, excellent riders that know these products and Dan has built all six of my bikes over the last four or five years and um, like half for trail riding. So exciting products and uh, you guys know them really well from a riding standpoint, a farkling standpoint, and also, uh, you know, the accessories and, you know, where the value is. So a lot of the videos that we're going to be covering are, you know, what are some of the things that you really should buy? What are, what are luxury items as compared to necessity stuff? Where is the business located, Dan? Uh, it's in Rainier, Washington, which is just southwest of Olympia. It's about 15 minutes outside of Olympia, so about an hour and 20 minutes outside of Seattle. To them. How long would it take uh, on a relatively new bike or used bike uh, to take it from relative stock fashion to get it all fixed up in your true works fashion? Um, how long does it take? How much money are you talking? Uh, it depends where you start. If you want to bring a bike in that's like, Let's say I've been doing a lot of 2020 300 uh, XEWs and XCs the last few weeks. Um, if you want it plated and you want our full wiring harness kit on it, and then you want to put some of the other works parts on, you're probably going to look at about, depending on lighting and other things, anywhere between $500 and $1,000 in parts. And then, uh, you know, three to eight hours of labor. Um, our labor rate at the shop is $65 an hour right now, so it's a very affordable rate compared to most uh, shops out there, which are around 100 to 110. Um, so, you know, you're looking anywhere between 800 bucks to 2,500 bucks total, depending on what you want to do. This is your uh, FE501. The total amount of money into that is how much uh, you think? If you were to buy this bike new um, for 11 grand and put all the parts that I've put into this bike, you would probably be without labor around 1350 1400 bucks. Okay. So. Uh, brand new two-stroke, if I have to plate it um, and put the wiring harness kit on. You know, if you did springs, all the guards, the handguard system. Um, the full enchilada. Full enchilada. I mean, that bike probably has $2,000 worth of parts and 12 hours of labor into it. Okay. 12 hours of labor. Okay. So, uh, basically, uh, bought the bike. Got the parts, you're looking at a week to two weeks yeah. of, of turning around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the one four strokes are uh, 2020 FE 501 that I've ridden uh, was pretty dang good out of the box. So That's right. We rode, we rode Ben's bike, and yeah, we were blown away. That thing uh, may be uh, a game changer I, from I, a tuning standpoint. I definitely think there's a lot of room for more power out of the bike, but in stock form... Uh, it didn't really have any flame out issues. It no, seemed to no, run right. sound, run really well. That's true. His bike needed to be kind of uncorked a little bit, but boy, it, it felt pretty darn good. Oh, yeah. as it was, as that it was, was way way better than the 17 through 19 yeah, bikes. Yeah. So, but um, uh, 
Tell me about the level of experience you have on mecking on bikes. Well, I, uh, I started riding and I mean, having to work on my own bikes when I was 13, um, I came to a little bit late. Um, and I met these guys that we've all been riding together now for 20 plus years. But, the Terminators. Yeah, but yeah. I, I've, uh, I've always had to work on my own bikes. And I'm, you know, my first two stroke was a CR 125, and I took that thing all the way down to the frame and rebuilt the engine and powder coated the frame and rebuilt the bike from the ground up when I was in high school. And it's just so. Um, now, you know, when it comes to uh, being involved in off-road motorcycling, there's riding, there's sparkling, there's mech work, and usually nobody is good at all three. But I will tell you emphatically that both Cal and Dan, they know how to do all of that. And I mean, if you look at some, some of the videos here, their riding ability is top, of no top notch. And so uh, we look forward to uh, having you stay tuned to these videos. We're going to make a, a variety of product related videos and tutorials, and it can cover anything from gear to working on the bikes, buying the bikes and knowing what the, you know, the, the good, the bad and the ugly are. Uh, in fact, uh, I think one of the videos,